All right, y'all, um, we're going to bring y'all something a little different today. Uh, we're going to do a clip called What's in the Yard. And I have a bunch of crap in the yard. There's a lot so, of stuff in the yard. Yeah, so y'all saw this. We're working on the S10 bed. Um, it's been a full build. We're 12 videos in. Y'all already saw it. There it is over there. We're getting the front end put back on it. And it has a valence now. It has a bumper. Defenders are bolted on. Um, it's going to you guys next week to get a windshield and a back glass put in it. Uh, and you would be Chandler behind the camera. I'm yep. sorry I didn't show y'all him before we it started. Might, it might get a few more goodies while it's there. All right, so the first thing, there's my dog, one of them. She's an asshole, but we love her. <laughs> All right, y'all saw this already on the channel. Uh, this is Kaylee's Blazer. No, we haven't done anything to it, but we're slowly gathering parts for it. I uh, found a motor. Um, I think we're going to go back with a 2.8. Uh, that way we'll have cruise control, air conditioning, all that stuff. She don't care about having a hot rod. So uh, we're going to put our good rotor in it, put some new exhaust on it, uh, lower it. We already got wheels for it. Um, finish cleaning the interior up real good. Uh, yeah, cool cruiser. Yeah, them. Chandler's jump. No, that's my good one there. Yeah, this is the good one. <laughs> All right, so tell them real quick. Your truck good, go? Um, you think so? Yes. Well, we got we got forty three days. I say that. Uh, and we also have trash in the yard, as the dogs like to drag it out. All right, y'all check this thing out. So this is a. I'll be honest. I don't know what your model is. It's a nineteen sixty seven to seventy two, two door. K5 Blazer, I don't I don't know if it's a Jimmy, I don't know, but it's it's Blazer. It's a something. Um, I just put a 5.7 drop on it for my buddy Michael Laracy. Uh, I had a couple days of waiting on some parts to come in, and I made a Facebook post, and he was the first one to claim the spot, so uh, he's the one that got work. Um, Y'all check this thing out. It is uh, super cool, man. We, we drove it around a little bit last night, and uh, it's like bare bones. It's got some rod in it, but I mean. Yeah, it is 50-something years yeah, old. Yeah, it's 50-something years old. It's never been touched uh, yeah, until I lowered it. Had a mat in the back. Now I ruin it every time. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, let, let's see if it crank. Made a wheel. Man, you can get that thing and drive anywhere. I don't care what nobody says. Like my dad said last night, you can probably get in this thing and drive it to Tennessee and not even have to worry about it. But you're um, going to tell them you won't ever, ever do another one no, of these. No, that is the worst sea <laughs> notch I've ever done in my entire life because not only is it 50, 60 years old, it's rusty as crap, and you can't take the bed off because there's no bed to take off. <laughs> and I had to do the entire notch on my back, getting burnt up with a plasma and a, uh, you know, the welder. But um, even with the hood on, it still seems like it ended all up in my head and everything else. But that's really cool. Uh, I wish it was mine. Hold on, let me show you one more thing. This entire top comes off. And yep. people that have these are like, we don't care. But it's cool to us. The whole top comes off. There's no door frame around the window. So once you take the top off and let the window down, it's a full convertible all the way to the windshield, which is super cool to me. I would love to have this live on the beach. But I would chop this door down there. Yeah. That would or raise the bedside up. That would really bother me. All right. Let's see next. This is my baby. It's my newest baby. I love this car. Uh, I've been wanting one of these my entire life, and I finally got one. Um, '96 Impala SS. It's not a Caprice replica, like the one I almost bought. Um, it's got 141,000 miles on. I've already put like 2,500 miles on it. Uh, Y'all saw it on the channel already. We've done the Southeast Machine Fab rear arms, 24-inch replica, uh, co classic culture wheels, I believe. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, the box is over there. Um, and that's it. And it's got two toils in the trunk. Uh, I'm actually getting in this car tomorrow and driving it to Orlando because we're going to Universal Studios for KK's birthday. And, it's a, and it is like driving a couch down the yes highway. It is. It, is, it is great. And I don't know if y'all heard that, but KK's hollering at us on the cameras over there. Hey! I didn't know she could do that. She ain't going to holler back. Hey! Okay. All right. Oh, hey. there it is. <laughs> All right, so uh, that's the Impala. Uh, this is my other baby. Um... 2003 GMC Sierra. Let's go around to the other side. Where the this none one. of this stuff's been washed. Just so y'all know, it rained. It's rained every day for how long? About uh, six months yeah, now. About, about six months. So it's impossible yeah, to keep yeah. anything clean. But this is a 2003 GMC Sierra's bag, stock floor body drop, 26 inch intros. Um, I'm gonna do a video on this truck one day. I just haven't. Every time it's clean, we're leaving to go to a show, and I don't have time to shoot a video. Yeah. Um, if you haven't seen this truck, um, it's been built for a couple years now, right? 
feel like uh, in this stage. Yeah, in this stage, it's been two years. Interior is um, Summit White Chevrolet with blue or blue and pink pearl in it. Um, catskin seat covers. Zoom in on that seat cover. It's got tooled leather on the inside, like a horse saddle. Yeah. Don't don't worry about all the dirt in it. Seems. <laughs> Uh, we put new carpet in it. It's got a Colorado custom steering wheel, iPad in the dash. Very sweet truck. Yeah, I mean, I am, I can get in this truck. As I mean, it's testament. I have put, yeah, forty plus thousand miles on this truck since it's been bagged and body dropped. Right. Um, and this one didn't get bagged and then body dropped. It got all done at one time. It took me six years to put this truck together. And when I first got it together, it was like four different colors. We drove the wheels off. Of it. I loved it. Um, it's a really nice truck. It's just really kind of aggravating to keep clean because. I don't. I have a shop, but I can't put it in the shop because the shop's always full of crap. So uh, I'm, that's my next goal. I want to build a bigger shop to park, just park the stuff in. Yeah. So, um, hang on. Let me show them under the hood this truck. You can kind of walk around if you want to. It's got a Titan roll down back window. Um, those are really cool. I like it when I'm cruising. I hate it when it rains because it leaks. It leaks. <laughs> and we've got uh, we've got channels built on the back wall to funnel the water to a hole in the floor, and it still doesn't help. So. So this is one of the most reliable vehicles in the yard? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I can get in it. Unless you're leaving the gates at mini Nats. Yeah, unless you're leaving the gates at mini Nats, It'll break a ball joint on you. Uh, completely stock 5.3. It doesn't even have a cam in it. A uh, little shop engine driven compressor. The motor is painted. Um, you can't really see it because that's what I hate about LSs. If you don't relocate all the coils and stuff, it's ugly. But the motor's painted black. The valve covers are paint. The intake's paint. We put this nice sheet metal intake. Originally, I had the stock truck intake, and I had to cut the wiper cow. And I went back and put... The um, the shorter sheet metal intake. We built tubs in it a while back. Hood struts. Um, and there's some thought inside these yeah. tubs. Well, I had dimple dies in the bed. I just kind of wanted the fenders under the hood to match. Right. Um, and then, if you haven't seen it, the graphics on the hood. Um, this is our boy Daniel Smith down in Tampa, Florida. Smith Works. See it right here? He is a bad man. Yes, he is. So, uh, he painted this for me. Um we ended up doing some horse trading. I was, <laughs> it worked out really good in my favor. Uh, I, I went and picked up a truck for him and hauled it to him, and we kind of done some swapping out. And um, he's actually become one of my really good friends. I talk to him pretty much every week. So, um, but he painted this hood, and he had not painted the wiper cow. We were supposed to get out on a Saturday morning and pick this thing up. Chandler, tell you he was there. Yep. Daniel sent me a picture of this wiper cow in primer at nine o'clock Friday night. Uh oh, race trucks. That's a work truck. So uh, he sent me a picture of this in primer at 9 o'clock. When we got there at 9 o'clock the next morning, it was done. Yep. Painted, graphic striped, and cleared and ready to go. He, had, he stayed up all yeah, night to finish that for me. All night. And then we kept him in the shop all day long working on his Tahoe. So. He was ready to leave by the time yeah, we got Yeah, he there. hated us. <laughs> all right, so this is uh, my work truck. Y'all see it all the time pulling trailers. Uh, 2008 Chevrolet Dually. Um, my dad bought this truck brand new. If you go back way back on the channel, he used to have a tool body on it. Uh, he drove it for like 14 years. Wood truck, drove it in and out of the woods every day. Um, he bought a new F450 last year and kind of retired it and he was going to sell it. No, I don't do that. So uh, we took it, we put a bed on it. Um, I lifted it, put some 24s on it, uh, Tennessee wheel and tire for the wheels. Uh, it was about this time last year when I was trying to get it all together. Yep. Um, I was waiting on wheels, which took three months to get back. <laughs> so uh, I, that's my beater truck. All right. So this ain't mine. I really wish it was. It's really cool. Uh, this is my buddy Michael. He dropped the blazer off for me to lower. He just left his trailer here. Um, I don't, if you've never seen Max trailers, um, check this thing out. They don't have ramps. Yes, yeah, you got that right. So you just dump your trailer and you just drive your car up on it and then you just air it back up. Every mini trucker's dream. Yeah. My favorite thing about it is the guard in the front so you ain't slinging rocks all over everything you got. Yeah. This behind a bagged and body drop dually would be like, yes. oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh. Um, it's a really cool trailer. Um, me personally, from watching him load vehicles up, I wish the fenders were a little bit wider. Um, it's not mine, so I don't, you know, it don't really affect me any. But that's the only complaint I had with it. We're missing a vehicle right here. There's a gap in the yard. Uh, if you didn't notice that. Uh, she'll be here in a few minutes with that. That's uh, my old lady's uh, Cadillac Escalade. Uh, we got a 2014 Ford Fusion. This is the car that uh, KK had whenever me and her got together. Um, 
It's a little beater gas saver car. She drives it every once in a while. Uh, it's completely stocked. Hey, look, there's a goose. He's going to poop on you. Uh, man, I would not <laughs> be so mad. <laughs> uh, other than that, it's completely stocked, minus the lower class fab sticker. Uh, this one of my other babies. 1987 R10, not a C10, it's R10. The title will tell you so. Uh, 87 was the only year in a regular cab short bed that you could get a factory fuel injector motor. This has got a 350 in it, 700R4. Um, it's got a little bit of rot in the cab corner, a little bit on the bed behind the wheel well. Other than that, it's a super solid truck. I would get in this truck and drive it anywhere. This is actually my loan out truck. When yeah. my buddies are here and we don't get done with their trucks, this is what I give them to drive. Yeah. So, uh, and it's been used multiple times. Yeah, I mean, it's, um, it's got... Well, it ain't at the moment. I put a bench seat in it when I got it. Uh, Jason had already put carpet in it. We changed the steering wheel. It's a power window truck. Uh, all that works. You got that aftermarket radio in it. Yeah. Good. It's even got a brake controller because this thing used to have a gooseneck hitch in the bed. Yeah. But um, the bed floor's been changed. Um, a girl that used to own this truck in the back. I know every person that's ever owned this truck since this is brand new. Um, and there's a girl named Macy that used to own this truck. And she had a guy helping her at her shop. And um, she told him to pull the bed off, and she left. And she came back, and he couldn't figure out how to get the bed bolts out because they're rounded off, not knowing that the nut was on the bottom side. <laughs> so he just took a cutoff wheel and just cut a big square out around the bolts and took the bed off. <laughs> so it ruined the bed floor. So when Jason ended up with this truck, he bought a brand-new bed floor. That thing was like $900. And he put it in there uh, because he didn't want to put a bed on it because, I mean, the truck actually still matches. and Yeah. Um, it's not original paint. I don't know how long. It's been a long time since it's been painted. Uh, there's a little bit of overspray on the gas tank, which tells me it's been painted, and the paint's peeling on the hood. So, But, yes, I almost traded this off for a Cadillac the other day. I'm gl really glad now I didn't. And how long of a drive was that? Uh, four hours there and four hours back to Ocala, Florida. And I, I can't knock the guy, man. He, he was, like, up front with me, and I just thought it was going to be a little bit better shape than that than it was. A super cool car. But... Uh, it was just, I, it didn't have a back seat in it, it didn't have door panels, and it didn't have a dash pad. And I looked the whole way to Ocala on my phone, which, don't do that. You're not supposed to drive marketplace. <laughs> I looked the entire way there and back to find a 66 two-door Cadillac parts car. Couldn't find one. So then when I got down there and I saw the body was kind of rough, had a bunch of rust in it. Um, and like I say, the guy was up front. He told me I, he told me it had some bubbles and stuff in it. But I got down there, and this truck's in really good shape, minus the molding fell off the tailgate. Um, yeah, I'm glad I kept my truck. <laughs> Long story short... So, uh, my car trailer, 24 foot. A lot of people ask me, uh, it's 24 foot hydraulic tilt made by Striker. I bought this truck right before COVID hit, or car, trailer, not truck trailer, car trailer, whatever you want to call it. Trailer. <laughs> so, I bought this right before COVID hit. Um, like I said, it's hydraulic tilt. It didn't have a winch on it, and it didn't have the electric jack, but it was just like you see it. Uh, I give $4,150 for this trailer, brand new. Stole it. That trailer now will cost you. Eight to ten thousand dollars. So, oh, I swallowed a bug. <coughs> um, so it's got a solar charger, charges the battery, hydraulic pump. Uh, I put a winch on it. It's got a locking plate. Uh, built all this stuff. Just kind of tied in. So it's been a majorly awesome investment. I love my trailer. Um, even though I really want to buy a two car now because I want to haul both of them. <laughs> so, all right, you can cut that off till we get to the backyard. Uh, another vehicle rolling up as we speak this is a uh let's get this is the most up. rare bmx bike ever made ever made this is a uh 09 huffy 09. freestyle freestyle, freestyle. says it on the back it's got the 20 inch wheels paint match pegs paint match calipers how long you had that bike kid since you were like five no it's been a long time i think yeah, i was probably like eight that thing looks rough yeah. all right we're gonna get back to the video hey, look, 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 look. Tell us a little about it. It says hands off my bike. H hands off my bike because this is a rare piece of art. Freestyle history right there. Yep. You notice we modified it and took the chain guard off so she could lose a leg. Yep. It fell off because it's just sitting. That's what's wrong with kids now is they All right, chain so guards on their bike. <laughs> this truck makes me really sad. Very. I love yeah. this truck. I've had this truck for, um, I actually just saw a Facebook memory i've had this truck 11 years now so uh it looks rough at the moment this is my 19 1991 chevrolet r 3500 91 they made square bodies in 91 a crew cab and a suburban went all the way up to 91 
Um, this was an original city of Guyton, Georgia utility truck. It was a single wheel truck. We made it a dually. It's got a uh, custom cut wheels, even though they don't look like it now. <laughs> uh, set of 22 inch uh, Tennessee wheel and tire wheels. Um, I've got a lot of time and a lot of money in this truck for it to just be sitting here rotting. And it's not on level ground because I was moving it to cut grass during the summer and it shut off right here. And I was like, well, okay, it's out of the way. So here it is. Um, this is sad. This truck, when I bought this truck, it had a 12 valve Cummins in it already. Uh, it was completely stock other than the motor. Um, motor and transmission had a Dodge A518 transmission in it. I drove it for like nine years with that motor in it. And uh, due to some unfortunate incidents of my own doing, I turned the injection pump up a little too high and it ran away. And I got it cut off. And we tried to set it like six times after that. And it kept running away. And I finally just gave up. And uh, I was going to buy an injection pump. It was like 1200 bucks, and then the transmission was also slipping. And they want like $3,600 to build that transmission. So I was going to be like five grand in making it run again. So I pulled that junk out and put a big block in it. And Terrible idea. Yeah. I have not been happy with it since I put the big block in it. You saw it on the channel a couple of times. We pulled a couple trailers with it. It is not impressive. Um, this thing's got one, what they call hold on, one of them hog ass cams in it. <laughs> and it talks trash. Yes, it does. But... With that stock converter, it does not pull itself around very well. Um, one thing I do like about this truck, you notice the wheels turned about halfway right there, and it's not even close to touching the fender. Yeah. Because you can drive this truck literally on the ground. That's why the rockers look as bad as they do, because we drive it on the freaking ground. If this thing is picked up higher than one on the E-level controller, it's only because so, the wheels are being polished. It, it, or we're trying to load it on a trailer, which yep. usually don't happen. So, uh, this truck uh, is really rough. I've got a new bed for it back there. Did you step in the dog bowl? I did just step in the dog bowl. That's why it's shaky. <laughs> so this thing, uh, I had the interior done a few years ago. Um, some some cats down in Brunswick, uh, a guy named Andy Bowie done the door panels in the console, and then his buddy Mike done the stitching on the seats and everything. Um, I haven't really got to enjoy it since I got it back because we started having issues with it. Um, it's got a 1962 Impala dash in it. 59 Impala steering wheel. It's got the low car 23 or 32 inch. That's a tall one. 32 inch shifter. Yeah. Um, and it is stupid tall. Yeah. Um, it's it's super cool truck. The whole headliner sticker bomb, and all that is like legit stickers that I got at car shows or from parts I ordered. Or from voting. Or my book. Yeah. <laughs> That's what started it. I went and voted in 2016, and uh, I stuck the I voted sticker up there. No, I'm sorry, 2012, and. Uh, I stuck the sticker up there and it just kind of went from there. So, I, I, I'll show you another truck over here in a minute. That, yeah. It's a sore <laughs> it's subject. Gonna get its, time. it's a sore subject. It's going to get its time. All right, let me come out here and show you all my other square body that's a sore subject. My kid's swing set we put up about. Two, yeah. All right, so this is also a 1987 Chevrolet, just like my red one. It doesn't have a fuel injected 350 in it. Um, my buddy Stewart put this truck together for uh, Charlie Erskine several years ago, probably 10 years ago now. And uh, I ended up trading him out for, uh, I had an 88 to 98 step side truck, and uh, I got this truck. This truck originally had an S10 rear end under it with 15 by 16 rear wheels. Uh, and we beat on that S10 rear end. We could not yeah. break that dude. Uh, this truck had a big block in it, had, had actually that big block that was in that square body in it. And, uh, I want to put a little bit more motor in it, so it's got a quick performance, 9-inch, it's inner and outer braced, um, solid center section, it's got uh, a, a spool, I say solid, 40 spline axles, uh, 456 pro gear, um, that's never been rode on the highway. Not once. Uh, uh, no. Look at, the, look at the pinion on that thing. It's got ladder bars with a wishbone locator under the bottom, yep. brand new coil over, and a spool kind of a small anti-roll bar I, I thought it was going to be a little bigger than that when i ordered it but uh we're going to try it and see um it's got a 32 14 tire on the back uh, i've also got in my shop a set of uh 15 by 15 race stars with a 315 radial tire so i can i can swap back in two uh, it's got a big barry grant uh, the whole fuel system on this truck is uh very easily accessible it's got a pre-filter post filter and the fuel line unhooks right there it's hard line to the front that way, if I need to take the bed off, I can cut a ball valve off back there, take it loose here, and just take the bed off. So um, what? We know about fast stuff? Yeah. So, yes. 
Um, I, I used to drag race a lot. Um, we used to have a two chassis Nova that we run a lot. And uh, I also had a turbo Busa, Hayabusa. Um, I used to race motorcycles. And then I had a kid and then I realized I can die on this thing really fast. And my kid might want me around. I don't know. She don't like me sometimes. Uh, I got some big fender exit headers. Uh, that's actually why I quit working on this truck. This was during COVID and I was waiting on headers to get here. And it was like a three month wait. And uh, I pulled it out, waiting on headers to get here. And then when they got here, it never got pulled back in. So it's got a bench seat. The seat that's in my red square body was in this truck. I, I swapped them because I was going to be driving it. And then I've got some Kirky racing seats to go in this. This is just sitting in here. It's not even bolted in just to roll it around. Um, it's got a really nice shifter in it. Really nice steering wheel. And then the hood's not really bolted on. So I'm going to try to show you. Last time I popped this hood, there was a rat snake sitting on top of the motor. Maybe he's not there now. Oh, I wish that no, was on video. He's not there. Um, so this is a 496 cubic inch big block. Um, I don't know what kind of power it makes, but it runs really good. It's got a uh, 1150 Dominator on it. Um, it's got a two-speed power glide with a 5500 stall. Uh, electric water pump. That's the only accessory. No alternator, no nothing. This is a this is a race truck. I didn't build it to drive. Uh, this motor actually come out of my Nova. Um, and when it was in my Nova, it... My Nova weighed 300 pounds less than this truck, and it had a 538 gear in it, and it run 590s on motor. So with a 456 and about 300 more pounds, uh, this should run like mid-6s. Um, it's not super fast. That's on motor. That's not gas, which is really slow nowadays. But uh, when I started building it, that's just kind of what I was going for. All right, this truck is a 96, I believe, Chevrolet. The paint's peeling, but the body is like... Yeah, it's like super straight. straight. Uh, this truck belongs to uh, some of Dan's kin folks. Um, he asked me if I could get this truck running. This was his dad's truck. Uh, his dad passed away, and his brother ended up with it. And uh, they drove it for years, and they parked it. And uh, I went over to uh, Hinesville, I believe. Yeah, anyway. I went over and picked it up for him, but I haven't got a chance to start on it yet. Um, it's got a, we actually we tried to start on it. We couldn't get the hood up. So we finally kept messing around. We got the hood up. Uh, it's just a Vortec 350 truck, um, but he don't know anything about it. He said he remembers it using, no, I'm sorry, it's a 305 truck, 5.0 liter. Um, he said he remembered it using oil, um, but he hasn't, he hasn't seen this truck in like 10 plus years, and he stopped by a while back and uh, checked it out, and I'm going to get started on this as fast as I can. Uh, I know it's going to be a big project. And he said he's probably he thinks he's going to need a motor, so... Uh, we're going to get it running. We're going to lower it a little bit, put some tires and wheels on it. He's supposed to give this to his son for graduation. And I'm sorry if I wasn't supposed to say that on the video and your son didn't know. Sorry. <laughs> Maybe he don't watch the video. Yeah. All right. So, uh, that's a junk trailer, old trailer. My daddy and him used to haul equipment on. Uh, I was going to fix that at one time and, uh, refloor it and put some axles and stuff on it and paint it. And I realized it's cheaper to just buy a new one. So it's still sitting there. We got all this land out here to yep. put more. No, we just planted pine trees out there this year. Um, so all that's planting pine trees that don't look like it at the moment because they're about this tall. But uh, we planted 52 acres of pine trees this year. Um, so we got pine trees. About 20 years from now, you make some money off of it. Hey, there's KK. Hey, babe. You want to be on YouTube? Well, too bad. You're on YouTube. Oh. Uh, next, say bye. Bye. That's I knew she was going to flick the camera off. All right, so, uh, <laughs> yeah. 1998 Honda 300. My Uncle Kyle bought this brand new. And then uh, my grandpa ended up with it. And uh, my grandpa's 82, 83 years old now. He's got dementia. So we had to take this from his house because he'd be trying to ride it. And uh, he's not in shape to be riding. What do we do with this Honda? We take trash through the road with this, and that's it. Check this out. So, uh, hang on. You got to finagle the key. It's on. Watch out. Watch how hard this thing is to crank. Man, it's beautiful. You cannot, you cannot beat a Honda 300. No, you can't. All right, so here we got uh, her buggy. What is it? 2023 Can-Am Commander XT. Uh, as you can tell, it was clean a while ago. It's not now. You got it dirty first. No. Uh, for Christmas, she got her some uh, 20s uh, MSA wheels and some 33-inch Moto Havoc. Um, she rides put her, it. Put her sound bar on. Yeah, she rides fire out of this thing. Yeah, I got it. So, how many miles this thing got on it? She got her booster seat in there too, so she can make sure she can see. Huh? She be jamming out. I heard her coming from a mile a while ago. Was it miles or hours? 
600.6 miles. Yeah. It takes that's a lot about, of about, circles around the farm to make yeah. 600 miles. <laughs> yeah, for those of y'all don't know, we live on about a 105-acre farm here, and uh, I think she's rode every inch of it. <laughs> I've done the same thing when I was a kid. All right, so here's my buggy. Uh, this is a 2018 Polaris uh, 1000 High Lifter Edition, uh, six-inch portals, uh, 24s and 42s. Um, I actually bought this thing just like it is because it's cheaper to buy one like this than to build one. Honestly, yeah. Uh, I bought this from John Man. My buddy sends a bunch of stuff over here. It had 400 miles on it. I gave him uh, 22.5 for it. I actually went to go look at a new Can-Am X3. Um, that's what I really wanted, like one of the turbo, the fast ones. Man, it fool was talking about some 30-something thousand dollars. I was yeah, like, nah. Really? So I went and bought this one. It was already lifted, tires, wheels. I mean, all I done was rode it. And uh, I've, I've enjoyed it. I don't ride it enough because every time I go to get on, the battery's dead. It's got uh, it's got a tin in the back. It's got some weight towers, some kicks, blah, blah, blah. It's it's just a big-ass buggy. It goes everywhere. I've had to winch it out one time, and that's because I was in a pond. It was about to turn over. It's um, been turned over one time. Yeah, and I did turn it over at Fat Daddy's, and we rolled it back over and kept riding. So, uh, all right, this truck, uh, I don't know what your model is, 2001, 2002, something like that. Uh, GMC 2500 H, non-H, no, it doesn't say HD. Uh, it's got a factory 6.0 6 liter, 480 transmission, and it's two-wheel drive. I got this truck to put the motor and transmission in my dually. So, in case you were wondering why my dually was looking sad, this motor and transmission is going in. We, this truck runs, drives, and body's kind of beat up, but we've been using it for a trash truck. Uh, all the metal and stuff, we just... I was, I was just putting it on a trailer and hauling it down there, but this truck, I mean, when I get ready to haul a load off, I'll crank it up, drive it down there, throw, throw it out in my scrap pile. Uh, this is, should be good. I'm, I'm ready to put this in my dually. I miss my truck. All right, and then last but not least in this yard is uh, my 1928 Model A body. Uh, I bought this last year, I believe. I ain't seen this one since you made the video. No, um, and I'm going to build it. I just hadn't got to it yet. Um, I want to build a frame for it. I want it about this high when I get done with it. Maybe, maybe this high. Mm. Uh, I want to chop the top about six to seven inches, uh, bodied all the way to the ground, and uh, gigantic motor sticking where the hood should be. Um, that's what I want. This is going to happen? I don't know. Original frame, I got all that with it. Y'all saw all this stuff in the video if you've been watching the channel for a while. Check this out. Even the original. Original steering, steering wheel, wheel, original motor. Supposedly that motor had never been crunk. It was brand new. And the rear end. Um, the old man on this had started restoring it like 35 years ago, and it was in a barn. And then he sold the property that it was at, and the people wanted it out, so he just took it to his his daughter's house and left it outside. And it sat there for a long time. And then I saw it, and I bought it. Um, I think I give him $1,400 for this, which is a lot of money for what's here because it's really rough. Until you start looking on marketplace and realize that that body will cost you $5,000 anywhere in the country. Um, if you find one cheaper than that, you should probably buy it. Yep. All right, we're going to go down here and show you the bonus yard because uh, we got another spot back here at the back of the field. And, uh, yeah, we'll be right back. That's, oh, it's flooded. Yeah, because we have a beaver. There's pipes right here, and he keeps uh, damming it up. I wonder if I still got that video where we tried to blow that beaver dam up. We blew back. it up, and then he come back and build it again. Thanks for did it. I ain't been out here since then. Is this still green? Yeah. All right, so uh, we're, we're at the back of the farm. Uh, this is my dad's place down here. Um, this is the truck I used to drive every day before we built the dually. Um, 2006 LBZ Duramax. My dad bought this truck brand new. Um, this was his personal truck for a while. And then uh, kind of became my company truck. Uh, I put a six inch lift on it. It's got some 20 by 10s, 37s on it. Um, very good truck, man. That truck's super clean on the inside still. Uh, I don't know if it's locked or not. This one used to be yeah. a tow pig. Oh, there's a bottle of wine in the front. Yeah, this uh, I mean, this truck's still super clean on the inside. The carpet's not stained up. Yep, that's a nice truck. Um, my kid says that this is the truck she's driving to school. I don't know. Um, it may be a little too big for her. I don't know if I can afford to put diesel in it. <laughs> uh, so this is my dad's 1970 SS 396 Chevelle. Numbers matching. Yeah, numbers matching. Come around to this side. So this, uh, my Uncle Dean, uh, which was my great uncle, which was my dad's uncle. Um, this is my grandpa's brother. He was born in a wheelchair. He had a muscle or a, a bone disorder. Um, his bones were real weak. 
Uh, he spent his life in a wheelchair, but he liked hot rods. And in 1970, he bought a brand new one of these. Uh, it looked identical to this car, except it had bucket seats in it. Um, and in 1979, I believe, or 80, uh, my dad was driving it, and he stopped at a stop sign in Alma, Georgia, and a guy in a Bonneville, if you know what a Bonneville is, that's a tank, running to the back of it. Dude was running like 60 mile an hour and never touched the brakes. He was drunk, fourth DUI that year, totaled it out. Um, this car was sitting on the street in Waycross where my grandparents lived, and it had been sitting there for a while, and uh, my Uncle Dean got my grandpa to go down there and ask the guy if he'd sell it, and the guy said, right, let me talk to my wife, and uh, he called him back, and he, he said, yeah, I'll sell it, tell him I'll take a thousand bucks for it, <laughs> but there may be something wrong with the motor. So they went down, they looked at it, there was a ground wire off, they hooked it up, and uh, it run, run fine. My Uncle Dean drove it up until he passed away in 1991. Uh, he didn't drive it every day, but he drove it a bunch. And then uh, when when my Uncle Dean passed away, my great-grandparents parked it under the shelter. They wouldn't let nobody touch it. And uh, it's got a vinyl top. The top was torn in a couple spots. And uh, it sat under our shelter. The shelter leaked. Water got under the top, rusted the whole roof out. So my dad spent 12 years off and on restoring this car. Um, and it's, it's a very nice car. Still original ma matching numbers. 396 car. Uh, original Turbo 400, original 12-bolt rear end. Uh, very, very nice car. Uh, we put vintage air on it. This was a factory AC car, but that's tracking that stuff down is impossible. Um, uh, it was just easier for us and this stuff works better than the factory stuff. So we put vintage air on it. Um, I mean, it had five tech on it at one point. Yeah, it had five tech on it and we was having some running issues. Uh, I'm not a fan of that stuff. It's got a quadrajet, a factory, a factory replica quadrajet on it now. Uh, it runs really good, but he hasn't been driving it because when you put it in gear, it wants to stall out. And it's got a bigger cam in it than the factory when he had the motor built. Uh, it's not very big, but it's, it's, I mean, it sounds rowdy. But uh, anyway, we come to find out there was a sprag, there's a sprag messed up in the torque converter. So I bought him a torque converter for Christmas. We just hadn't had a chance to put it in. Uh, I'm going to try to do that in the next couple weeks and get this thing back rolling. Uh, it's got factory, I mean, it's, it's a factory re restoration car. Um, I love this car. Uh, I'm not going to go in here and show you all this. This is a 2013 Kenworth W900L. Long hood. Um, my dad bought this truck new to haul equipment with. Um, he didn't really need a sleeper truck, but at the time they were planning on hauling some stuff on the weekends for a company that my stepmom worked for. That kind of fell through. Uh, I rode in that truck the other day. It is a 2013. It's 11 years old. It's got 56,000 miles on it. <laughs> uh, it's got ISX Cummins in it. Um, 10 speed, uh, fine truck. Uh, it's got an RLK visor on the front. Um, other than that, it's pretty much stock. Uh, it's got the big exhaust and all on it from the factory. Uh, he wants to have it tuned and deleted and get all that EGR stuff off, but I don't, I don't know. He don't drive it enough to really justify it. So uh, here we got a Dodge. Um, this was my, my stepmom, her brother. This was his truck. He passed away recently, and they're just kind of storing it here until they're trying to figure out what they're going to do with it. They're going to sell it or whatever. Um, super clean truck. Let me see if we can get in here and see some of the, these last two. So if you've been watching the channel for a long time, and I mean a long time, one of the first videos I ever shot was my grandpa's 63 GMC. Um, we got this truck out after 25 years, got it running. Uh, we put some transport wheels on it, some 22s on it with some low pros. It's got a Mexican blanket seat cover. Uh, this truck has got the original, uh, let me find the hood prop, I can't remember where it's at. It's got the original 305 V6 in it. With the plaid valve covers. Yeah, with plaid valve covers. They told me, from what my research online, is one in 5,000 of those trucks have those. I don't know how accurate that is. And considering how many of these trucks are made, how many are still around, I feel like they're pretty rare. It's got a one barrel on it. <laughs> hey, but now, when we finish this thing, you can bump the key, it would crank up. It's yeah. got a three-speed manual in it. It's got manual brakes, drum brakes. It is sketchy. And what it does have is one of the most beautiful patina jobs. Yes, it is. There's, a, there's actually a handprint on the fender. I, I don't know if we can see it's it. It's right there. Yeah, right there. You can see the handprint where my grandpa had this truck painted. This truck was originally black when he bought it and he had it painted blue back in the 70s and it's lacquer based paint and you can tell where some, th there's body filler right here. You can see where somebody put their hand, I guess when they were getting up and they never cleaned it and then they painted over it and after all these years you can see the handprint where it rusted. Yeah. Um, let me see, does this light work? That'd be nice if it is. No, it does not. Nope. All right, and then last one. My dad has had this truck since I was a little kid. Um, I actually saw this truck at the dealership in town 
uh, I was on the school bus. I was about nine years old, maybe maybe younger than that. And I saw this truck on the back row where they had where they always parked their tra- park their trade ins. And I was like, Dad, there's a good looking square body up there. And he went up there and bought it. And he's had this truck since like 1994, I believe. A uh, long time, um, way longer than you were alive. Yeah. Um, so this is a '86 uh, C10, I believe it's a. What's that say right there? Yeah, it's Scottsdale. That's right. Yes. Yeah, I was trying. I was about to call it Silverado. It's Scottsdale. Um, it's a regular cab, short bed. Uh, it's factory white, factory blue interior. Um, let me get around there and pop the hood. So this is the truck that I wanted to drive to high school when I was a kid. And it had a small block in it. It had a 388 in it, or 380 something, uh, with a big old cam in it. And I loved it. And my dad would not give it to me. <laughs> and I'm glad he didn't now because it had been tore all two pieces. Uh, but years ago, I built my first dually I built before I built the one that I have now had a big block in it, and we LS swapped it. And that big block ended up in here. And this is a... Uh, Pretty mild, 454. Uh, he changed the cam, he changed the intake, put a good carburetor on it, um, and put a set of headers on it. It probably makes 350, 400 horsepower. I mean, it ain't no powerhouse, but it runs good. Uh, if, the, if the battery was charged, you could reach in there and bump the key, it cranks up, runs, drives. This was an AC truck. Uh, when he put this motor in, he never put the AC back on it because he don't really drive it that much. Um, and like I say, this is the truck that I wanted to drive to school, and he wouldn't give it to me, and I'm glad now he didn't, because um, I didn't know then what I know now. But it's got a small lift, like four inch. It's got uh, some brand new at the time, 15 by 10s and 33s on it, and it's a good driving old truck. I mean, it's just a nice truck. Let's go back here in the daylight. Sorry, y'all, it's not got dark on me, but I'll show you this last one. Uh, 2015 Cadillac Escalade. This is uh, KK's ride every day. Uh, when we got this thing, we lowered it uh, to four. It's got a spindle in the front, four inch coil in the back with shock extenders. All the Magna ride is still intact. Um, everything works, no dash lights. Uh, it originally had some 24 inch replica Escalade wheels on it. Uh, we recently put the uh, 26 inch dub eight balls on it. And uh, really like this thing. Um, we she drives, a, she drives a lot, she's put a, uh, She's put about 35,000 miles on the last year and a half driving it back to the work. Um, inside is still spotless. Outside still in very good shape. I had it ceramic coated when I first got it. And uh, it's it's been a pretty good vehicle. We had a few issues with it when we first got it with the air conditioner and stuff. And uh, we got all that ironed out and just been a good, dependable, nice daily driver. So. All right, uh, let's just kind of look at our collection of vehicles. Um, We've got a few. <laughs> we're, we're vehicle poor. They're sitting everywhere. Yeah. So, matter of fact, I see my dad coming back here now. I want to know who the hell's the back here. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we got a bunch of projects. We got a bunch of stuff that that uh, we need to we need to get work on. But uh, yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed it. So, if there's anything y'all else y'all want to see or want more details on one of the vehicles we showed you, let us know. Appreciate y'all watching.